big row over Brexit is after the head of the Bank of England said Britain risked higher unemployment and a possible recession if it leaves the EU. Campaigners who want to leave said he's wrong and should be sacked. Only watch shows on iPlayer. You might have to pay the licence fee soon. As part of new plans for the BBC, ministers also want to publish details of staff earning more than £450,000. It's been the busiest year on record for the NHS in England. Figures show emergency calls, admissions and A&E visits were all up, but more people than ever faced delays. Do you know this man? Hillsborough survivor Joe Smith saw this image on a documentary and says he's the boy sat on a man's shoulders. He wants to thank him for saving his life. Imagine waking up and finding your car like this. The huge sinkhole opened up in South London early this morning. No one was hurt, but these on the street might have to be evacuated. Hello, I'm Alex Wursick with the latest from the northwest. An investigation's underway after two residents at this Nantwich care home went missing. One of them, Roy Tomlinson, was found dead in an outhouse six days after he disappeared. Everton's end-of-season awards dinner should have been taking place right now, but it's been postponed after the sacking of manager Roberto Martinez. And the weather, dry and clear overnight, clouding over tomorrow and cooler, a top temperature 17 degrees. Live in Florida, we join Gabby Logan for coverage of today's Invictus Games on BBC One next. Paul has shared with me something about the moment when his friend died and held him in his arms in Afghanistan. And I feel a duty, frankly, to to do something that, that works. Gareth C. Victor's Choir concludes tonight at 9 on BBC One. Before Gareth's in Victor's Choir continues at nine, we're following the penultimate day at the Games. Gabby Logan is live from Orlando here on BBC One. Thank you. 